hey guys welcome to another video in the super quick series and today we're going to be looking at foil foil is the roll-up os for ethereum i have some highlights here that we're going to take a look at so foil is a modular blockchain that can act as an execution layer for other l1 blockchain so key things modular execution layer l1 blockchain so i'm going to take my time to just kind of describe that so when you say modular you're already thinking about things that can move in pieces and parts and that is a new change a paradigm in how the blockchain is built so the previous blockchains that we do have are monolithic chains you have all the the consensus layer the data availability layer the execution layer all in one big box and they are tied together well we're looking at a shift and a change in coming towards modular chains kind of uh, of architecture where the consensus layer can be separated, the availability layer can be separated, and the execution layer can be separated. And in this case, FUEL sits at the execution layer part of this structure, where it is the part of the, the chain that is going to provide the computation, that is going to provide the, the trans, that is going to carry out the transaction and find a way to get data and consensus through from other services. So that is where Fuel sits, and it's kind of interesting to see that we have seen how to leverage and focus, like, um, um, what's it called? There's this thing. To focus on areas of concerns, like pick up a particular part and execute that properly without bloating and size and things like that. So Fuel looks like other L2 rollups, like Optimism and Arbitrum, but with some very notable differences. Let's look at those differences and see. It uses full VM instead of the EVM. A lot of the um, roll-up solutions that we currently have still rely on the EVM. However, Foil uses the full VM, which is the full virtual machine, instead of the Ethereum virtual machine. Foil virtual machine is purpose-built for Foil, and it is built to very much leverage that particular key part of just computing with some improvements, some optimizations to get the performance, the speed, and the reliability that it's needed to perform computations. And it is very pluggable into several configurations. Whether you're using it in the side chain, app chain, L2, L1, you can use Foil to plug into different um, pieces of, 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 of services and get the, the customization that's going to provide you the output and response you need. So you write smart contract on Foil using Sway instead of Solidity. So Solidity is a programming language that allows you to write smart contracts mostly to be deployed on the Ethereum virtual machine. But well, Sway is a DSL, and DSL means domain specific language, which means it is purpose built for Foil. It is Rust based plus uh, some kind of Solidity structure, and that's where you get with Sway. We're going to look at in another video how to write a very simple Sway contract and deploy it to the Foil testnet. And another awesome key part of Foil is that because a lot of these things are built in house and built purposefully for specific purpose, you get a lot of considerations when it comes to the DX and the developer experience of the tools that they provide and just makes your life easy. So Foil at its core is customizable. And I mentioned earlier that you can plug it into L1, L2, L3, whatever chains that you're working with. It is very customizable because you can add your own functions and operation calls and external calls and you modify the behavior of your DS rollup. And it has native account abstraction. Account abstraction is a tech that I'm very passionate about and I love it that it's being pushed at the boundaries at which it is been. And it, it makes for compatible with any wallet and any asset type. And we also see like modular design. And that is what I said, like around being a part that you can move around. So you can use for roll up and pair it up with something like Celestia, which provides data and consensus layer. And that is something that I even kind of alighted in the, I, I mean, I just show you a quick example of what that looks like. So Celestia Network is a data availability and consensus layer. And you can see that from the, uh, I'm going to leave this in the link description if you want to read more about it. So they provide decentralized data at scale. They just focus on the data. They focus on the consensus and the data. And that is where you can bring Foil to feed in that computation need. Take all this data, worry about the consensus, but at the same time, perform the computation. And you can now plug that in whatever chain you want to do, L1, L2, sidechain, or app chain, whatever it is. And these are the superior benefits that having a dedicated execution layer, a modular execution layer provide, where you can have 
our dedication to concerns and everything without bloating, without so many things, makes it move at the speed and allow you to do things faster, right? So um, the number of tools that you would see to write Sway, so I say say Sway is the uh, programming language that you use to write. It's Rust-based and it uh, looks, it has some solidity-ish thing, but it's basically Rust-based. So if you've written some Rust, you'll be good with it. So um, there's the Sway Playground, and this is what it looks like. I have a simple smart contract here, which I'm going to worry about in another video. And also, I keep missing this. And you can either write your smart contract here to deploy, or you can set up your environment. And that's where you use the foil up, which I said looks like yarn, npm, whatever. And the Sway extension for VS Code allows you to um, have syntax lighting and all those cool stuff that you love as a developer. And that's it, guys. This has been an overview of the foil network. I hope this has been helpful you can check more on their documentation on their website they do a great job at alighting a number of things but the coolest thing about foil is the, the facts that it moves at the speed that it moves and does a lot of the computation rolls that up gets data from the consensus of all the services and you can use that to build custom rollups technologies that would suffice for your uh, need all right so that's been it for this particular episode guys Thank you so much for checking this video. You know what to do. Leave comments, leave improvements, leave feedback in the comment section.